We start with the latest and most horrific act of murder yet by the extremist group that calls itself Islamic State. In a slickly produced video released online on Tuesday, IS militants burn a caged Jordanian pilot to death. We will not be showing any part of the graphic video or the images which triggered a wave of condemnation from world leaders, including the King of Jordan, who has vowed revenge. Connie Lee reports. Jordan has vowed punishment and revenge against Islamic State militants for the horrifically brutal death of pilot Muhath al Qasasbe. Jordan's King Abdullah, who briefly met with President Barack Obama at the White House Tuesday night, cut his U.S. trip short after hearing news of the murder. In a statement, King Abdullah hailed the pilot as a hero and called the terrorist cowardly. We meet today with the great grief, despair, and anger following the death as a martyr of the heroic pilot Muat al Qasasbe by the hands of the car terrorists that behaved in an extremely wrong, criminal, and prejudicial manner that has nothing to do with Islam. According to security officials in Jordan, some IS linked militants jailed there will be executed in response. This comes after the Islamic State released the extremely graphic video on Tuesday, which purportedly shows the hostage being burned alive inside a cage. As the authenticity of the video is being confirmed, President Obama called the militant group vicious and barbaric. Whatever ideology they're operating off of, uh, it's bankrupt. And this organization appears only interested in uh, death and destruction. In Jordan, citizens rallied in Karak, the hometown of the pilot, on Tuesday night to express their anger. Many are calling for the swift execution of militants jailed in Jordan, including Sajda al Rashawi, the Iraqi woman on death row who was offered up as a prisoner swap for the pilot. 26 year old Al Qasasbe was captured in December when his jet crashed in Syria during a bombing mission against IS. He leaves behind a wife, parents, and a nation brimming with grief and fury. Connie Lee, Adirang News.